Speaking of adding a little bit of style to your life, I recently visited Basically British downtown for a nice afternoon tea. It was like being transported to a quaint little English village. It was adorable. Without traveling outside of the Miami Valley. Take a look. Okay, so Terry, tell me a little bit about how Basically British got started. Ah, yes. Well, it wasn't planned. No. <laughs> Not at all. I'd retired from Wright-Patterson, an engineer-scientist type, and uh, was looking forward to retirement and doing a lot of theatre, which I've always been involved in. Mm -hmm. But then someone mentioned that over in the Second Street Public Market, there was a, a woman that had a, a store selling British goods, and might be interested in uh, taking it over. Mm -hmm. I laughed and said, why would I want to do that? Do I don't know about that kind of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. But then I thought, well, you know, the market's only open, only open three days a week for a few hours a day. Mm -hmm. It'd be a nice pastime. Fun place to be, other vendors to help out, low risk environment and so on. And thought, we'll give it a go. And it was all of that for about 18 months. And then what happened? And then uh, <laughs> we thought, you know, we could really use uh, more days a week and more hours a day and more space and a more controlled environment. And we mm -hmm. kind of started looking around. We, I keep saying my partner, Vicky, mm -hmm. we started looking around for places to move to. Mm -hmm. Wanted to stay downtown and uh, found this place here in the cannery building. And it was a great match for us. For yeah. a British store selling British goods. And the look of the place when you look around Beautiful. Just is, is a really nice match. We, we in, intentionally made the place one that's relaxing, uh, one where you can feel comfortable just sitting around, not feeling you have to rush out. So we rarely reuse a table. Oh, okay. The idea being to let people relax. Oh. Quiet environment. We, we have a kind of age 10 and up limit in part because it's we meant it to be a sort of tranquil place if you like. <laughs> for adults, <laughs> for adults yeah. without the kids running around. And we have a tea here. What is, what is this one? What are oh, the more yeah. popular this one, teas? This one is Amaretto Nights. Okay. Uh, it's probably one of the most popular teas we serve in the tomb. As okay. you'll see when you try it, <laughs> it's flavored with Amaretto mm, liqueur there as you. almonds mixed in with the tea. Very, that very that flavor is really nice. Yeah. It's strong. I like it. And uh, that's one of the more popular teas. What else do you find has a very positive response when people come in? Well, we do a lot of basic black teas, mm -hmm. uh, the kind of English breakfast, uh, English afternoon teas, and so on. The most popular ones are the flavored ones. Right. We're at a, uh, a, a recent one that we've been carrying is Buckingham Palace Garden Park. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's on the queen so it has something going for it. And I it's, think uh, so. <laughs> it's an afternoon tea, so it's not super strong like mm -hmm. a breakfast tea. It has a little bit of Earl Grey, a little touch of jasmine. Okay. Popular. Okay. Well, that one sounds really great. We have a nice spread here. So this is not even... This is just the beginning of what is offered at an it afternoon is. tea, uh, right? This is just a sampling of scones and cream and jam. Okay. Very traditional kind of thing to do is to okay. have a scone, uh, break off a piece of it, put some jam on it, put some cream on top of the jam. Okay. Very traditional. Best done, of course, uh, in an English village on the edge of the village green, what can cricket match in a pleasant summer day and so wow. on. But here in Dayton, we're doing the best we can, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah, and then we also have flavored scones. We okay. have the basic round scone here that we have every month, but mm -hmm. every month we also have a flavored one. Very okay. from month to month. And uh, this happens, happens to be jasmine. So well, I, I'm going to dig in. Okay. Delicious. Mm -hmm. And this is all made in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really good. So this is just a sampling. What all comes with a normal afternoon tea if someone were to come in and ask for that? Now, as I said, it's a three layer arrangement. Mm -hmm. The top level would be a plate like this. would have the different kinds of scones and cream and jam. Mm -hmm. There'd be a middle level that has a variety of savory things on it. Okay. Sandwiches, rolls, other things. Vicky is very creative about the mm -hmm. kind of things. And then the bottom level has cakes and tarts and sweets and so on. Okay. And uh, I call that the really sweet layer. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much, Terry. We're going to well, have a little bit more tea. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
thanks again to Terry for having us at Basically British. I was feeling very British after that outing. That was an awful accent, but if you want to know more about Basically British, from their hours of operation to their complete menu, there is a link on our website. Go to WDTN.com and look for Living Dayton. Also, make sure to like us on Facebook and let us know some of your favorite places to visit. We want to hear from you right here in the Miami Valley.